After my friend enlightened me to some Congolese food, I thought I had to also enlighten him to some Pakistani food. We went ahead and tried the Dilbasand at Whitechapel and we tried a combination of starters, mains and a dessert. First and foremost, the interior is well made and brings out a nice atmosphere. The aesthetic and colour scheme is a nice sight. Starting with the drink, the mango lassi was amazing. Mango lassi is definitely my favourite beverage when the weather is hot. My friend definitely was enjoying trying this for the first time. Trying mango lassi for the first time. Ooh, okay. What are you thinking? Okay. What are you thinking? Like, what's... It's got like a yogurt taste. It's fresh as well. fresh. That is nice. Moving to the starters, we went ahead and tried the two jarts that were on the menu. Both tasted really good and had a beautiful mixture of flavours. The samosa jana jart was definitely preferred. I liked how the jart wasn't too spicy as well. I think one word can be used to describe the jart. Stupendous. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> as for the mains, both tasted fresh. The special Halim Karachi style was nice, particularly with the chutneys. However, taste-wise, I did prefer the chicken gel frazi. The mains were served with some naan bread. The Afghan naan bread was definitely the highlight. After teaching my guy the traditional way of eating naan bread and curry, I had to ask him this one question. Do you like roti or do you like rice? It's a lot closer than I thought it would be, you know. It's a lot closer, like, I think... I don't know. The Afghan one, the hit. The Afghan one was hit. So that one, I can see myself having that with like a curry in the future. Jal Frazee or the Karachi? Jal Frazee. My favourite. This is nice. I wish the lamb wasn't just like broken up though. Yeah. This, you see with the big chicken pieces, this is more meat. So I won't lie, this one might be finishing like the next 10 minutes. <laughs> For the dessert, the gajar halwa was nice. Portion wise, it was quite small though, but the kulfi tasted really good, and eating it with the halwa was a 10 10 combination. Overall, I would give this spot a 9 out of 10.